Here's what UConn coach Dan Hurley said last night when asked if he would leave UConn, presumably for Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a concern. <laughs> you know, my wife, uh, you should have her answer that. <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't say that was a convincing slam the door no from Coach Hurley. So for the record, Kentucky has eight national titles while UConn now has six. And most betting sites have either UConn or Duke favored to win it all next season. So Paul, if offered the job, should Dan Hurley leave UConn for Kentucky? That's an easy no. No? I mean, he's coming off of back-to-back titles. It's not like the Kentucky Alumni Board is any better than the <laughs> UConn mm. Alumni Board. I mean, they got deep pockets too. Unless the offer is significantly better. I mean, he makes about, I believe, five million a year now. Got a two million uh, dollar bonus for winning it. Yep. I mean, look, you've won two championships that only has six. You're accounted for 33% of, of the history at the school, men's college basketball. There's no need to even entertain Kentucky because mm. in this climate, in this day of age, and it has been for a lot of years, UConn has been mentioned in the same level as Kentucky. They're all on the same level. When you talk about the big dogs in college, you say UConn, Kentucky, Kansas, Duke, Carolina. So if it's not a school that's significantly, historically better, why leave a situation where you're the king, where you're going to get a statue one day? Is it possible Kentucky is no longer Kentucky? I mean, it's lost it's a little bit some aura. cachet, some yeah. mystique, some of its historical they magnitude. They haven't been to the finals or the national championship yep. since, what, Anthony Davis? Yeah. Well, they've been to the finals, but I mean, they, they, have been, but they haven't since won a title since They haven't won a title since then, yeah. and UConn, you hot right now. You're getting the recruits. Yeah. Your NIL money is going to go up, so no need to even entertain it. Mm. What's the number? <laughs> yeah, what's the number? That's the what's big the question. Number? Because what's the offer, you mean? Yeah, what's the offer? What's the mm. number? I get that it might be down now, and UConn has six national titles to Kentucky's eight, historically. I get it. I understand it. UConn is not Kentucky basketball. It's just not. Kentucky basketball is... It's, it's, it's something about Kentucky basketball and it's what it's like UCLA basketball UCLA ain't won forever right but for some reason when that thing opens up everybody's trying to figure out that's true who's going to UCLA mm -hmm. Kansas doesn't mm -hmm. open up too often but if Kansas opens up they gonna try to figure out who's what Kansas true it's just how it's it's yes Paul is correct it's mentioned in the same breath as a Kentucky, as a Duke, it's, but it's not the same. And I don't know what I mean by that. I just know when you tell me Kentucky basketball, it just rings different in, 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 in people's head than it does UConn. Although UConn, like you said, is accounted for, you know, uh, or he's accounted I mean, for two I championships. Bag, I think it's probably that bag ring different at Kentucky than it's, UConn. But, and, that, and, that may be, and that may be true, but... That's all part of it. Is Kentucky, the same things that he has done for UConn basketball, brought them back from essentially, I wouldn't call them their deathbed, no. but they was, you know, teetering along. He brought them back. Imagine if he could re-energize the Kentucky Wildcats fan base. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. No, and he could go in there yeah. with those same 10 players. Yeah, he could and get them a championship or two in the next four years. You know, can you imagine what that would feel like? Mm. That's why guys always want to run to these big-time basketball programs. And you say, well, there's, no, there's not a big difference in UConn versus Kentucky. Now, look, he's from the Northeast. 
He's a New Jersey New guy. Jersey City. He, he's yeah. got that whole region in terms of recruiting. He does. Well, Rick Pitino's from that area, and he went to Kentucky. He did, and, and, he, and he says to this day his lone regret about his coaching career was leaving Kentucky. Go ahead. And, and, and so you got a guy from that region mm -hmm. in Kentucky. Yep. The guy that just left, Cal, is not from that area in that region, no. but you got a guy that has done well at Kentucky. So he can still recruit from a national standpoint, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I, I would have to see the number. Right. You know, you got to talk to me. Because right. if you're talking six million, that ain't going to get it done. No. If you're talking you have seven. You double digits. They, that's think. what I'm about to yeah. say. If you're talking yeah. seven, it's probably not going to get it done. Yeah. What you got to do is I got to first, number one, be the highest paid coach in the conference, which right. that's easy in, to do. In all of college. In all, well, and then let's talk all of college basketball. I mean, so I'm coming off back to back. Games. Yeah, I gotta you gotta get, pay me. I gotta I be. I just seen what Coach Cal getting. I need to, I need you to up that number. Yeah, I need to be in that 11 million, 12 million dollar category. Okay. That'll get it done. And they got the money to do it if they really want to do they it. They do. And if they really want to do it. Okay, I'm gonna remind everybody. Coach Cal won one NCAA game in the last four years. He won one SEC tournament game in the last four years. Kentucky has not been to a Final Four for nine years and hasn't won a championship since 2012, so that's 12 years. That's a, that's a long drought for Kentucky. So I, I love Cal. I just, and it's hard to talk about him objectively, but I will. Dan Hurley is a much better college basketball coach than Coach Calipari is. He's just a better coach. Is he a better recruiter? I doubt it. He, he's done well at UConn, but and maybe with Kentucky's pipelines, he could do better. But Coach Cal recruited a lot of top flight high school kids, blue chip kids, and they were mostly one and dones, and they all made a whole lot of money for themselves and their families. And that was the great thing that Cal has done consistently for young men. Mm -hmm. But those young men have given Kentucky fans next to nothing back. And all the fans care that they don't care about kids making money for their families. They, they care about, did you win for my school? Well, it hadn't been happening lately. So if you could give Dan Hurley a semblance of the talent, because even Coach Cal's got, now one's hit the portal already, he was there, but, but he had recruited a top five recruiting class coming in next year already. I don't know if they would stay. If Dan Hurley went, they probably would, because he's coming off back to back. So I think that would be cachet for them to stay. Well, if you give Dan Hurley that recruiting class and some portal players that he could go get, veteran, you know, those, those grad school kind of players who are 24 years old, maybe he could put something together on the fly that he would coach better than Coach Cal could coach. Mm -hmm. And maybe they'd go farther just because they have a better strategist on the bench, a better game planner type coach, because I don't think Coach Cal is that. Question Question for no, you no, this is the thing. Quick. Let me tell you what Coach Cal was all about. Coach Cal didn't recruit to, or bring in players to win a championship. Coach Cal was selling, you can go to the NBA yeah. with me. Okay. That's what he sold to his recruits because he had top recruits. And Cal, from what I remember, was one of the first coaches that organized Pro Day. You know, no other college okay, but team listen, was doing that. Wildcat Nation, they don't want to hear this. They, they don't hey, care. Hey, look, they look. don't. But, no. but when you when you put your chest out and you walk around the country and you say you're from Kentucky yeah. and you got that Anthony Davis jersey on <laughs> or that Booker jersey okay. on right. or, or that Shea Gilgis jersey, yeah. I mean, then you holding your chest high whether you want or not. Yeah. Because we bring we brought in superstars. Yeah, name three of the top dudes. Yeah, yeah. So don't think Kentucky fans ain't out here wearing these jerseys when you go to the Final Four. I see they got Booker, who else? The Marcus Cousin, Rondo, John okay. Wall jerseys. Okay. They they poke, they so still. So they got they NBA clout, but they don't have college clout, right? They got college yeah. clout. That's college clout, Skip. Okay. Oh, I went to Kentucky. But that's Look what I'm who saying, else. though. It's, it's, Look it's who else went here. Of the, of Look who uh, else went here. And, we, you know, we might not win all these years, but we are history. All right. All right. Our history. I'll throw that's one last saying. quick thought at you. Dan Hurley, let's say he sits still at UConn. Let's say Joe Missoula flames out in these playoffs. I'm just throwing this out as a possibility because there's high pressure and expectation on this Celtics team because they were one of the best regular season teams we've ever seen. What if it flames out 
and they say, we got to go in a different direction. He's just not the right guy for us. Well, would Dan Hurley get a shot at that job? He might, being local to them. He might, uh, I don't, I don't they know. They did that with the, the boy that was just there, the college guy that left Butler. That no, was there. The, Brad uh, Stevens. Brad yeah, Stevens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they did that. Right, yeah, Paul, yeah. real quick, though, why did Roy Williams leave Kansas and go to North Carolina? Just because he played there or something? Uh, that was his. He we coached there with Dean Smith back. That's what in I'm the saying. Yeah. But he left. He, he was always going to go back to Carolina. He was just always going. He was always going. Because see, that was, Carolina is one of them programs. Yeah, that it is. You want to go coach at? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got but it. he coached there as an assistant before. All right, back to the NBA. The Mavericks are the NBA's hottest team by far. Does that mean the Clippers are about to be in trouble in the postseason?